Well, well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert. Thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Hey everybody, I'm Ian Millen, creative director on Battlefield Hardline, and I'm here to give you the first look at our single player campaign. I have relatively good news. Really? Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune? Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Oh, sure. Now, the visceral battlefield single player is quite distinct. All right. Stay behind me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. You'll notice how the pacing is very different, and so is the experience. We gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. What the hell is this place, anyway? Missile silo. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Alfred doesn't have a nuke. They don't have a nuke. That I know of. This is your desert beat. Your one-man island of armed sovereignty. Back to remind you that all of us here witnessed the wholesale denigration, the crumbling, the uh, tearing down of everything that made this country great. You know, in college classes, in high school, all okay, this way. Once, you know, pure, what's the word now? Uh, that I can use comfortably. Shit. Water would be filled. Which way now? You know what village is? Over here. Pumped into young minds. I hear a president all the way. It's gotta be an escape hatch. Wars. Let's see. Lost. Let's see here. You lost those wars. Come and feel. You lost. Ouch. Loser. Fucker. And our radio found in Let me handle this. Hey, do your thing, man. Never liked that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know-it-all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Way too many cops around here. As you can see, you can get through a lot of our game by non-lethal means. You decide the way you want to play. So who's the guy paying the cop's bounty? Tony doesn't know. He found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter million bucks for a Mexican. Shit, man, I didn't know they got so expensive. For example, playing stealth, 
you're always looking for ways to isolate your enemies. Here, we're using a bullet casing to lure one of these goons away from the group to better our odds. Assholes had my badge and scanner. Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here! Look, if Stoddard gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. Alright, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Fortunately. Let's just go. Come on. You won't get this black man killed. I feel it. Now we're using a new gadget, the scanner, to stake out the situation. You can find objects, weapons, alarms, tag enemies, and identify high value targets. Not supposed to say. It ain't far, you know. What the hell happened? Tony just started beating on him and beating on him. Dude, he knocked the guy's eye out of his head. Oh, Christ. This is another new feature called Freeze. By managing it right, you're able to freeze enemies and prevent the situation from escalating. Freeze! What the fuck? Hey, I don't follow those guys. My, 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 my hands are up, all right? Hey, I ain't doing nothing, all right? I don't want no trouble, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> Looks like your old friends have gone way past bank robbery. One black president and Tony completely lost his shit. There's a radio. Look, I'm gonna try to reach Doom. Shit, don't you have any other friends? Not out here? Okay. I'll get into the compound and find our gear. All right, man. Hey, be careful. You gonna eat that thing? Nah, just gonna skin it. Ain't that kind of a waste? What am I, a fucking Choctaw? Circle of life. You, you ain't ever gonna get that old heap of yours to run. What the hell are you talking about? Your spark plug insulator tips are cracked, for one. I, I just changed them. <laughs> well, someone must have swapped them out. The Taser is a great example of a non-lethal gadget that is effective in stealth right. mode. That damn truck to get parts, I've been done with it by now. Who the hell put these plugs in here? These ain't mine. Ah! What the hell?
Here's our high value target. Arresting these perps will give you a huge bonus. Now we're gonna head in, grab our gear, and try to hook back up with Boomer. There it is. Now take a nice, long look at the first right. one. All right, time to get out of here. Fully collapsible stock and a modified grip for maximum shooter comfort while spitting roughly. Hey, stay there! Hands up! You're going right back in there, boy! Hey, who you with, man? CIA? FBI? I know who you are! Can't hide! <laughs> you can't hide in here! Choice is really going to change up the experience. It's up to you to choose your path. Our single player is going to deliver great new immersive experience and really add to the depth of Battlefield Hardline.